guys, I'm back, and we have a little bit of wind today. We have a north 26 or northwest, 26 miles an hour, west northwest. We had 31 mile an hour gust, and I think it actually went a little higher. And today is 121 of 2019. So let's go out here and take a look at the little Chinese turbine. It's a, a year plus now that she's been up and running. And you're gonna be able to hear the gray matter turbine quite loud. I've got the bot sitting up here. There's the gray matter turbine up there. Uh, the wind's coming in and hitting this wall. It's the wall of the shop, so the little bot's not doing good. And as far as the bot is concerned, it only peaks at about 125 watts. Not great. And here's the trailer in the shop. You guys who've been watching that, a lot of work still going on, wiring. Um, so let's get back here and everything is still a mess. <laughs> and we're gonna take a look at what has the little turbine been doing. So back around July of last year, I had to put in a new uh, meters and run new wiring. But there's a little turbine, their back is chaos, and currently gray matter has a uh, problem with its windings, so uh, it's almost, it's a thermodyne, it's almost like six, six and a half years old, and it's going to finally need service on it. Uh, that one, um, I can't remember the guy's name, Bob something, he's out of uh, California, makes those PMAs, those are dynamite. It's the same PMA that's down here right now making, what is that, 622, 650 on the watts. And here's your little Chinese turbine. This is it running right now. 575, 579. Let me see if I can get a little closer in on that. 459. So I'm giving you a uh, just a reality here. It's in the it's in the wind currents of the gray matter. If you looked up there and seen it, and I'll show you that. I'll get up top here. Just to say, well, I'm not going to get up top. I'll get out front and show you. This is a rated at 500 watt turbine. I want you to look at that. That's the real. There's my chaos. That's the one I built. That's the one that's on the east side of the building. And this is the little Chinese one. So you can buy wind turbines on eBay for 500 bucks that are sold out of the Midwest that are just miles. You know, it looks like an old washing machine motor or some shit. And you could buy these thermodynes and build your own, which is what I've done a lot of. We got 600, 725, if you catch that, 725 watts. And this is in 25 to 30 mile per hour winds. Yes, I agree with that. This one is in, this one here, the Billy Badass little Chinese turbine is in the prop wash of the gray matter up here. And it's still running perfect. All right, so some of you guys, I'm going to be making schematics. I'm going to do a video just on the schematics of my wiring system. What I use, how I do, instead of regular brake controllers, how I do it. So you look over here. Uh, at 30 miles an hour, if a turbine's rated at 1,600 watts, it should be making 1,600 watts in 25 mile per hour wind. That is the Small Wind Energy Association rating system. This one down here. You see the winds are coming and going 488. Look at 758 watts. That is a thermodyne. Look at this one up here, this Chinese turbine. It's only rated 500 watts, but it's rated 500 watts at 24.4, I believe it is, miles per hour. When it exceeds that, it exceeds that wattage. I want y'all to realize that. Don't buy this crap that they're claiming 15 or 1600 watts and it can't do it. If I put a little bit bigger, if I put the KT blades on this thermodyne sitting over here, this chaos, that son of a bitch would be hitting 1,500 watts, but it didn't burn my wiring up, so I can't do that. So you don't want to do that. But, and that's, a, like I said, thermodyne. I'll put a link down below the video. It's going to show you where these parts came from, and you can go on there and look. So there it is. There's your readings. That's a no bullshit scenario live. And let's walk back out there. And I'm actually running a diversion heater right now. I don't have a choice. I'm putting out way too much power. I mean, you're looking at, you saw the amps on that. At 700 watts, that thing is putting out damn serious amps. 
And that also proves, before I get out in the wind, I'll explain, that also proves the slip ring of that little turbine, the ME500, is as tough as hell. So there's parts of the go light sitting out here. If y'all watch my other videos, really neat. And here we go. I want you to look at how it's doing its action. It's swaying back and forth, okay? It's swaying back and forth because it's in its prop wash of gray matter. And chaos is right over there. So I want you to look. There's your little Chinese turbine that a lot of critics, critics said would never last a month. It's a year plus right now. And I live in this kind of winds on a regular basis. You look at the kilowatt hours. That's from July till now, till January the 20th. So you take a look. There's your little Chinese turbine. Listen to it. You hear that? That son of a bitch powers up. It is no joke. That camera makes it look like the blades ain't moving. So we'll get back here and take a look at the chaos up there. And of course, gray matter, my design right there. We raised some money for brain tumor research on that one. I know the wind's hitting this microphone on this thing. All right, so, and yeah, we'll be working on that big rambler soon. Let me shrink this back down. Try to. All right, so, you guys are wondering and asking, um, anybody asking questions about this thing yeah we're working on it so <laughs> i've got new i've got the fender see it i've got the big metal fender ready to build all the framing for that i'll show you all that in one of the videos and we've got all the wiring and there's a video showing how i got these put in that's the diamond the uh, diamond hash that came off the go light that's cool and a 10 watt flood for the backup light so we're, we're going to just look at the fact that you just saw that little wind turbine getting beat up in the prop wash of the other turbine. But I want you to look in the prop wash, you see in their directions, 600. Look at the amperage, 29 amps, 27 amps. Watch these amps go up. Look at the voltage, 30 amps. So when you buy a little turbine, and I put a link at the bottom of this video showing you where I got this turbine, they come from AliExpress. They come from a specific guy, specific dealer. He also sells it on a couple other locations, but the AliExpress, you're guaranteed you're gonna get what I got. You're not gonna get some knockoff crap with a little 100 watt PMA on it. And there's my, great, uh, my Chaos turbine right there. That's a Thermodyne. Guys, Thermodyne kicks ass you want to build your own turbine you don't buy nothing but that one and i'll show you the box here that is thermodyne boxes i got them everywhere i built a lot of these turbines from thermodyne and if y'all don't think i built a lot of turbines look at this pile of crap in here all these parts everything stators pma parts electrical solar and wind controllers you, you name it do i do it all uh, I'm an installer. I don't sell these damn things. And I work on a lot of RV parts. But this is a video I dare to make as long as I want to. But now look, she just spun out of the wind. Watch that. Watch them come back. Now the blades are designed on that little turbine to do that when it gets severe. That's why she's lasting so long. It's called rotational torque effect. Now watch it come back online, look at that. And that thing is fighting this. Now I've got this, currently the gray matter one, right now running through this up here. So I'm gonna make a real short run of this and I want you guys to make a very close note of how I'm gonna describe this. This is my power control center for braking. If someone tries to sell you a brake switch, they're a fraud, okay, a fraud wind turbine should never be dead shorted now here's gray matters you notice the position right now you see that that's the position that the knob is in so what we have is we have the power comes in in the center and right now it's feeding through here it's going through this this connector and it's going through here warm warm ooh, very hot and cold 
So that means I've got a slip ring or finally, after six and a half years, a $25 stator has burned out. What the hell, right? And it goes through here. And then these two, if you pull them, they do, they do dead short, okay? They dead short, but you don't have to pull both. The second thing is, is when they dead short, you can pull one and then two fields will go through resistors, one will dead short. What that means is the heat is created here, in my resistor bank up here. I do use ceramics, but you could use the green or blue ones. Um, for 12 volt, you're going to use the basically the two to three ohm. For 24 volt, you're gonna use the five to seven. For 48 volt, you'll use the eight to 12 ohm. And the reason is, is you still have to have flow through. If you don't have flow through, you have a dead short, which means the windings in your PMA will just get red hot and burn the hell out. That is what they sell you. When they sell you a big toggle switch that just shorts all three of those wires together, back to your PMA, it's spinning. The heat is made in that thinner wiring than it is the heavy wiring, and it burns your PMA out. In my case, my heat is made here. So if I want to throw the brakes on, this is, this is the uh, little billy turbine, I don't know if you can hear it. I'll be able to hear it in here in the shop, but I'll throw the brakes, but it's only gonna be a feed through of these resistors. So there's 300 watts, but in all reality, the way that, because it's AC current, it's actually only about 185 watts. But listen, I don't know if you can hear it, but listen. Actually, you can hear the chaos one up there better. So this is chaos. Let's do it. Listen carefully. Might have to turn the volume up on the video. You hear that? <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. It slows down. It's still running. Chaos is still running, it's right straight through here. It's still running. In fact, these are getting hot real fast. Right now, they're warming up. Warming up. Now, I'm going to take it back off, and she'll go to full power again. So, right now, we're knocking about 40% of the power off. So, in severe winds, severe winds, you knock 40% off. You slow the blades down because you're putting a drag on them, a draw. But what you're not doing is you're not creating the heat in the PMA, you're, you're creating it here. Okay, so let's take her back off, through. So right now the power comes in here, it goes through the wall here, and back down to the rectifiers below. So from turbine, it comes in here, downstairs. Turbine comes in here, through resistors, back, and reconnects in here to go downstairs. So that's those terminals here is where these wires are going to these terminals. So right now you have nothing going this direction, but if I feed it this way, and you wanna do it fast because you don't wanna leave that thing wide open, it'll overspin. So right now it's feeding through here and into the terminals, see? Right straight down, see the lugs? Right straight down to the rectifier below. So we're gonna take chaos. Chaos is tough as freaking nails. Uh, Bob built that one special for me. And he'll build you one special, 14 mag SC, SC12s or SC24s. They rock. So same scenario, you see how the wires are doing? I'm gonna give everybody a very long picture. Now the brake switches, all they're doing is taking two leads like these two. And if you pull this, it connects them direct, okay? And it also connects them direct because you see this, it connects them direct back here. So you don't want to use these brakes unless you absolutely have no choice. Um, in other words, you're going to have damage to your building. Otherwise, any toggle switch that's like the brake run and then open, just dumb as hell. Don't do it. Um, these turbines produce a massive amount of power and we have we have to burn off power all the time. But I'll have a schematic, I'm gonna show a schematic here. This right here is my diversion braking control system. I will show a schematic right now. So hopefully those who st stood with the video, you're gonna to get to see the schematic of this. Now, to end the video, hopefully other than running into crap, I don't have to edit anything. We come back 
to a 500 watt ME500 Wux Air. Wux is the name W U I X A I R. They've been around for 19 years, and this is their turbine. The B is for Billy Badass, named after a friend of mine in, in uh, up in Minnesota. So here we go. And there is the chaos, and then here is the poor gray matter. And we will be doing a slip ring on the gray matter soon enough. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, a slip ring. It's six years old. Um, one of the things that I have is because thanks to Hurricane Wind Power, I can get the genuine Moflon <laughs> slip rings. Hard to find. So I'll give you a link to that. Hurricane Wind Power um, uh, out there in Virginia, I think it is. And either West Virginia or Virginia, I don't know which one, one of them. But thanks to him, I can get the real slip rings, not the fake ones, not the falsely claimed ones. But all right, guys, working on the trailer, giving you a one year update. Look at that. When you run a thousand watts to divert the heat off of that wind turbine, you can heat your shop a little bit, huh? Let's get out of here. There it is. There's. 2,900 watts of solar and all the wind turbines. All right, man, y'all be good.